and Wreck TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Snipe Life. D Blocks on 354. I am the boss hog. I'm rocking here with DJ Mo, DJ Soup, my homie M Wreck. This is Unsung Heroes. You heard? Hey, listen, man. Y'all, y'all, y'all already know what it is, man. It's Unsung <laughs> Heroes, man. 2023. Myself, DJ Moschino, my brother, DJ Superior. You already know what it is. M Wreck on M Wreck TV. You know what I mean? And all the way live from YO himself, Snipe Life. You know what I mean? Sure, man. Salutations, <laughs> man. I'm <laughs> here, man. Pink, snipe Salute. Life. Salute my brother, Mo. Salute sure. my brother, Soup. What's happening? Superior, what's up? Talk mm. to me. Huh? What we doing? What's this is good? 2023. What's good? What's good? What's good? Let's, let's this, get to it. This look, was a look, wild this year, man. This was a wild year. Now, yeah. it's a wild year, but no, nah, we're going to get right to it. Look, right we got Snipe it. Life. You got Snipe in the building, baby. D-Block in the mm-hmm. building. Yonkers is in the building because Soup is in the building. He's from YO. Y-O. Snipe mm-hmm. from YO. Right. right. And we're going to get right. this energy right, man. No mm-hmm. bullshit tonight. You know what I mean? I need mm-hmm. that aggression tonight. We got to let niggas know we coming <laughs> in 2-2-3 two, two, with that Shit joke. real, man. You feel me? Yeah, man. Playing the playing final, around, man. B. This is this. This 2023, right? That's that's the Jordan number, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. We playing like Jordan in the finals, yeah, right? Yeah. In the game mm. Mm. So that, that's <clears throat> coming with that aggression. Just to just mm. to let everybody just to let everybody know, me and, me and Snipe is now Vernon and Yonkers. You know okay. what I'm saying? Just okay. to let everybody know, we rep okay. both. We from both. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Yeah, right? I always say Mal Vernon made me, Yonkers raised me. Actually, I always say y'all, you know what I'm saying? Because like a lot of that, a lot of the stuff for me, whether like getting getting into uh, the next level, because, you know, as, as a kid, you know, you get into mischief, you do shit like, you know, but getting into the next level of the streets mm-hmm. and, and getting into the next level of doing music, all of that happened for me in Yonkers. But mm-hmm. all of that shit was something that I had acquired from being a kid growing up in Mount Vernon. I already, I already was rapping, and that was one of the reasons why when I moved to the block in Yonkers, which was the, the block that the locks called home, mm. they took a liking to me early because I could rap, and I was a kid. Mm-hmm. So that was it wasn't that I came and they started rapping, and then I started rapping. Right. I was already rapping. That was one of the niches that I had one of my as my peers in the neighborhood with the old G's and the drug dealers. Like that was the one thing like I had over my peers. Like he really could rap mm-hmm. and he'd be outside late. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But yeah, that came from Yonkers though. That came that energy, you know what I mean? And that consciousness came from 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 growing up being on the streets in Yonkers. So, up. so who who was your your main go to when you first was like introduced with to hip hop? Like when you first like, oh this is what I don't want to do. As, as far as music wise, like yeah, who yeah. influenced me? Yeah, oh, I, I see it all the time. Everybody mm-hmm. that know me know this. Big Daddy Kane. Okay. Ain't no mm-hmm. half stepping. That's yeah. why I wrote my first rhyme to that. I was mm-hmm. nine years old. I'll yeah. never forget. I was nine years old. Mm-hmm. I wrote my first rhyme. Yeah. Um, and, and and just so people understand, like, oh, you was nine, nine and ten, you writing rhymes and all that. That's cool. But I was in humanities when I was in fourth grade. For okay. for nine, I was nine, I was in humanities. I learned about Greek mythology when I was nine. Wow. So I already had a, a, a old soul. I had a keen. So when I heard King, right. I was like, yo, his name rhymed with my real name. My mm. real name rhymes with Big Daddy King. So mm-hmm. it was like, yeah. I just threw my name, Big Daddy, put my name in it. You know what right. I'm saying? Mm. So it was like, yeah, I was totally inspired when I heard that. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Mm. So if you had to pick, because at that time, Big Daddy King and Rock Kim, they pretty oh, much. Oh, I'll tell you yeah. right now. Okay. I'll tell you right now. My mom's, rest her soul, my mom's was Rock Kim. Mm. Me, I was Big Daddy Kane. Yeah. Wow. But she introduced my mom's introduced me to hip hop. That's what's up. You know what I'm okay. saying? My mom's had me young. My okay. mom's was 17 when she had me. So we grew mm. up together. You mm. know what I mean? So mm. I'm a baby growing up in the 80s. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? So this is she's playing the radio. You know, you could look now at, at being older, you could look back and say, Yeah, right, mom's cleaning the crib, playing right. the music, fly, you know how we do. Mm. Take That's a up. shower, playing, and this is what I'm hearing as a kid. 
mm-hmm. it was just it was always Eric B and Rakim, Big Daddy Kane. Mm-hmm. Eric B Rakim, Big Daddy Kane, then KRS One. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Fact. Mm-hmm. Fact. So what was those talks like being that you was Good. a Kane fan, I mean, your mom yeah. was a Rakim fan? What was those talks like? Because you know, people was picking and choosing either Kane or Rakim, even yeah. though people love both of them. Yeah. But some people were like, nah, I'm I'm more of a Kane fan. No, I, nah, I'm more of a Ra my, fan. My household was cool, man. My mm. my mom subjected me to all of the, you know what I mean? It was like mm. she gave me my history lesson. Like, you need to know all of this. This mm. is the culture. This is what you call growing up with the culture. And mm. you can That's tell true. with a lot of MCs that they grew on to the culture. It's a mm-hmm. difference. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So this yeah. is just my early introduction. So it was never yeah. like a big debate or nothing. But I will tell you this. Kids from my earlier days, they'll tell you, I always was a fly little shorty, designer haircuts. I used mm-hmm. to have the um the train tracks. The, yeah. I cut eyebrows with the train tracks. Came. That mm. was me. I used to do that in school with the high top fade. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? I'm 10. I'm 11 years old. I'm mm. big daddy came out. That's my guy. Mm, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Big shout Word to up. Big shout to Mom Dukes. Cause all uh, rest in peace. Rest in peace. I can I can relate to rest that. Rest in peace, Mom Dukes. Rest in peace. Because my uh, grandmother was the one that introduced me to like music and the so on and so mm. forth. You know what I mean? Exactly. She, she passed. Exactly. She, she passed on as well. But at the same time, God, like my without, without all of that. You know what I mean? We wouldn't be nothing today. That, that was our mean? early introduction. Right. That was the right. seed that was planted. You know Indeed. what I mean? Mm-hmm. The rap. Facts, facts. And my mom's put me on the hip hop. You know what I mean? See, here we go. The queens, yeah. man. Hey, the queens put us on. Yeah. Yeah. Mom. Facts. <laughs> facts, facts. So let's get into it, y'all. Um, We're going to talk hip hop. We're going to talk snipe life. We're going to talk Yonkers. We're going to talk D block. We're going to talk everything. Mm-hmm. You know, um, sure. currently sure. on the landscape, rest in peace. Gangsta Boo. Gangsta Boo, word. Yeah. Rest my in peace, word. Gangsta Boo. Word up. You know, um, oh, yeah. Of course, yeah. that, that, was, that, that verse was crazy. Was crazy. Right. Yeah. You know, the, her death was all of, you know, all of a sudden, first day of the New Year's yesterday. Mm. You know what I mean? Crazy. Um, But that verse was crazy with um Busy Bone. Yeah. Remember six. When, um, <laughs> yeah, that was wild. Six and um, <laughs> Bone thugs. Bone thugs. Well, it was crazy and busy. Got out of control. <laughs> wow, <Wild down. laughs> <laughs> boy was like, yeah. "Busy boy, you a hater." <laughs> <laughs> yo, she was super Word real. Was super <laughs> real, yo. <laughs> she set it off. Word. Word. <laughs> Busy, you ain't nothing but a hater. <laughs> it was crazy. Man. The rest Word of the people up. Up. get a lot Word. of dope music Word. and all that and. Plus, she's a pioneer from the Definitely. south for the female. Definitely, you know. Definitely, mm-hmm. uh, just females. Just, just, just. She inspired a lot of females. You know what I'm Absolutely. saying? Just overall in general. But she was from the Absolutely. south, of Memphis. So shouts to the whole Memphis and all that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Give her respects. And then, shit, crazy with this whole Keith Murray, Foxy Brown. Oh man. <laughs> Going on, man. Tonight, you, I, you, I don't you? even. I ain't even hear that one. Oh. Even, what happened? What's going on? <laughs> ah. Come yeah. on, Mo. Talk oh, to me. I don't even know, son. You know when he when he dropped the interview, someone oh, saying man. a lot of what was going on. You know what I'm saying? A lot of what over here, a lot of what over there. You know what I mean? That's all I. <laughs> oh, he was. Say. He. This is Keith Murray. He's in Murray. Tonight, you, you didn't see it tonight. Man. Not oh, in no, 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 Keith no, no, Murray see said, that, I'll say what he said. He said it. It's, yeah. He said, he said Foxy was giving him mad top. That's what he said. Man, why he come out and say that though? He said, <laughs> Foxy was giving man, him mad no? top. <laughs> oh, why you oh man? He said right. then he said uh he said after she did he said after she did it, he said that he was in the play. This my probably a party or something. I don't know, but he said after mm. that she went wrong. He was he was looking like oh she trying to start like a east west something. That's what he was saying, man. I I don't know. The video's up. <laughs> yeah. He was saying that. Yeah. Shouts to the art of dialogue. They did the interview with. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. I ain't yeah. hear that though. That's yeah. wild though. Hey, <laughs> I ain't wild. gonna lie. Yeah. I've been watching that. I've I've been watching that interview, man. Ever since it's been dropping. Every time he chop it up, salute the art of dialogue with that one, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Also yeah, on the MREC TV, I got Foxy. He um, said, he oh, said, I, I put the Fox. Hold on one second. So I put the Fox response on my channel, like maybe I'm gonna say 
a little less than an hour ago. You know, oh, so she got a response. Yeah, okay. she was strong, like in her Instagram stories. She was like, niggas right. ain't been hot since I shot you. But mm. happy new year though. Cause you know they both was on I shot you, the LL. Right, right, yeah. right. You know what I'm right. saying? Oh Just yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Shots. yeah. You know what I mean? That's on MREC TV. Y'all check that out. I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna come clean. Mm -hmm. and as a kid, when I was growing up, I was I was more of a Foxy fan. Come mm. clean. I love mm. Kim and yeah, Foxy. I fuck with Foxy hard. But yeah. I was, yeah, because me for me, like, I'm with, I'm, 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 something like, I'm with you on that I'm one. Yeah. crazy. Yeah. Like, I'm I'm fucking with crazy. Fox. <laughs> Yeah, I was rocking. You know with Snipe. I rock with both of them, but I yo, was really yeah. rocking. Yo, Snipe, I seen, oh, yeah. I seen Fox. Yo, Rack, I ain't gonna lie. I seen Fox mm. give it to niggas. I seen mm, her give yeah. it to niggas. Yeah. Like, I believe mic, it. She, she got, it to she got that type of ball. Work. She got that type. Right. Always, she always mm. had that type of ball work to me. Yeah, Word. yeah, and you know what's so crazy with uh Foxy because that came up too. Nori, Nori said, Nori, say that again, Sue. What? Yeah. what? What? What came up? I said, um, that part with Nori when he said when they did that bang record going at Kim and them, he said oh, yeah, she yeah. had two verse. The verse we heard it was a more crazy verse. Yeah, but Nor mm -hmm. Nori was like, nah, because he she was weird. a whole bunch of shit she was saying. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. God, the second verse, he said Puff would have stopped talking to him with the other verse. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Wow. Yes, sir. I believe yes, sir. it too. Definitely. I believe it. It's crazy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So <laughs> we got a lot more on the landscape. You know what I mean? Um Spooky young hours, girl. spooky oh, hours. Oh, yeah, spooky hours TV you know show now. Episode one out now. Hottest TV show. And it please, please mm. talk about that one. Please talk about that one. Nearby mm. MREX TV. The first episode's called Close One. Mm -hmm. Got um Rihanna Latrice from growing up hip hop on a joint. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? That's I think I believe that's her acting debut outside of reality reality TV. Charge on. Yeah, now you good. Shout out to my brother Escobar Entertainment. He shot, edit, did the artwork and all that. So that's out now. Go to spooky hours TV. TV. You know what I mean? One of the that's hottest. Fire. Yeah. And um we're gonna close out with the mini series real soon, probably like March, April. So we're gonna drop episode by episode, and then we'll have like a mini series probably by you know, probably like March, April, something mm -hmm. like that. So you know what I mean, but for us hip hop, right. thank you, King. For us hip hop, we got the Young Thug YSL gun situation, man. Yeah, mm. snipe life, man. Let's 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 talk about this, man, because mm. um, you know, of course, you did a little time, right? Yourself, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so you can give us a little knowledge on the situation right here, and um, have have you been following the case? I mean, <clears throat> a little bit. I ain't gonna say like I know everything. I'm knowledgeable up to, but I seen, you know, I seen enough to, to, um, you know, understand what's going on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so Gunner's home. Did you see the video of of him taking his plea and all that? Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, um, how would you assess that? You know, that whole situation, him taking the plea and all that. Could you break that down? I mean, everybody got their own opinion, I guess, okay. about it, obviously. Um, but um, to plead guilty is to admit, you know, guilt. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And when you, it's like, you could you could tell on somebody deliberately or you could tell on somebody subliminally. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I, I think in both cases, they mm -hmm. both is debatable about based off of what he said. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, me myself, again, you know, I, I, you know, I caught a bunch of charges. I've been in situations where I had affidavits against me, mm -hmm. and and I had to bluff them out to make niggas go to um, grand juries and to get the statements and stenographer to had a minutes on the trial and all of that. I've been through that. So to get yourself out of trouble, 
you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. and implicate others. Like if it's just me and you in the car, right? And they find a burner in the car. I don't got to say it's yours. All I got to do is go and say it ain't mine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's that's like sublime. So if it ain't yours, mm -hmm. then it's yours. Right. right. That's how if I, I make that. a statement on that. Mm -hmm. Now my statement is going to hold weight in court. Mm -hmm. It's yours. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. wow. That's just my opinion. Like, you know what I mean? He drops <laughs> next. You know <laughs> so he did, he, he did what he had to do, mm -hmm. dog. And I I don't condone that shit. Uh -huh. Free dogger. I don't condone. You know what I mean? But mm -hmm. sometimes if you know, like that's why I would use example as for uh Bobby Schmurda and them, right? Mm -hmm. Salute to those kings, man. Yes, you know, salute. um, those young brothers are stand up niggas, man. Mm -hmm. And um, keeping your mouth shut for your for the for the sake of your man's is part of your brotherhood. That's the standards mm -hmm. and the principles that money can't buy that you're supposed to stand on, stand tall, no matter what the situation is. You're supposed to stand tall on that, mm -hmm. right? And so I just say, like, son probably wasn't even looking at nothing crazy like that. Yep. He could have just chilled, man. But I, who am I to say, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But, yeah, that shit is whack. Any way you look at it is whack. He's out. Thug is in. That's mm. whack. <laughs> you mm. know what I'm saying? Mm. So, so Gunner looking spooky right now. I mean, look, I, you know. I was a jailhouse lawyer, but I ain't a lawyer. Like, I ain't a lawyer, like, you know what I mean? But I'm a jailhouse lawyer. Yes, I was one of them niggas that would tell you about your case when you came in. Like, mm, go make okay. go to the law library, look your shit up, and show you how to fight your shit. I was one of them niggas. And I'm mm. young doing all this. I'm mm -hmm. ahead of my time. That's another thing. But mm -hmm. I'm saying that to say I, I've seen enough cases, man. I've seen enough situations, man. Y'all could try to water it down and say whatever and be politically correct, but it is what it is, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You ain't getting out unless you're doing some type of telling or cooperating, mm -hmm. however you want to say it. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha, so, so I got to ask this question. How does the music game look for him now versus what, what prior? You know what I mean? I mean, look at, I mean, look, I'm going to give you a case in point on that one. We ain't got to say nothing. You're right. Look at 6 9 <laughs> they said he would never sell. I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm yeah. just saying. They said mm. he would never sell another record again. Mm. Mm -hmm. That mm. kid came home and made a couple more. Men. <laughs> so he definitely yeah. came out. I, I don't know. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> he's, 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 trying to deal while he, he's trying to deal why he was locked up. No, I'm just saying. Like, if you just say, like, it's like. Do people really ban you for for um abandoning street codes? You know what I mean? That's really like the question. Yeah, you that's Do right. people ban you for mm -hmm. for abandoning street codes? And mm -hmm. evidently they don't. Yeah. At least to a certain extent, they don't. So I ain't gonna yeah. say that he's gonna come home to a couple of more bags, gonna probably get a couple more bad joints laying up somewhere saying, Man, fuck y'all niggas. <laughs> 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 I get somewhere saying your mouth, man. One. Mm. <laughs> so now, <laughs> yeah, with that being said, so so is it safe to say that the street code done switched over the years to something else that we Oh, it definitely know? and de you know that's why saying? you gotta get out the game. That's why right. you gotta look. I tell the young brothers all the time, get out yeah. the game, man. Go legit. Nerd up, do what you got to do because mm -hmm. the streets don't care. They don't love. They don't go by the same rules and codes no more, man. Right. The shit that we mm -hmm. honored when I was a kid, looking up at the niggas doing it, mm -hmm. they don't honor. You can even look at the music. I give y'all an example because I was a kid, a teenager in this era when EPMD put out the crossover. What did that say to us back then? On crossover. <laughs> Like all that commercial shit, yeah, all that yeah. on the streets, yeah, punk all that. Yeah. Like we over here, like that was what the right. crossover was about. Yeah, you well, singing yep. and all that. Like, yeah. Man, get out of here, man. We over here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? At least that's what I took from it as a kid. That's and what that's, it was. That's, yep. that's, that's what it was. That's how I seen mm -hmm. the OGs take from it. So I mm -hmm. took how the OGs did. So I say that to say, mm -hmm. you can see how shit evolved. In certain codes, they just stomp on them shit to keep moving because the game is industrialized now. They right. it's for the money, not the love, no more. So they could do this shit with no emotion. They can violate every code for a dollar. That's what they gonna do. You know what I'm saying? It's foul, but yeah, yeah. B. Damn. Yeah, it's wicked, bro. <laughs> we just don't give a fuck. That's why you see when when I when I was young, we had to be prepped. We had to be primed. We went to the back staircases. We battled. We did the pits. We mm. battled the ciphers. You wasn't coming around if your shit wasn't up to par. Yeah. Facts. 
You yeah. wouldn't even dare stand in a cipher. What? Mm -hmm. A cipher? Mm -hmm. Not alone, not only that, if you was looking crazy, you wasn't even coming standing in the cipher. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I be seeing now, nah, like no disrespect to fashion. Fashion is. I be seeing niggas come with cowboy hats and sunglasses. <laughs> oh. <laughs> be seeing all kind of, like that's nigga style. I'm saying I didn't come up under that. So yeah, like that type of nigga coming around us, no. he would have never did. No, I'm gonna tell you he something. Would have never tried to be different. You know how niggas go out their way to be different. Yeah. All these different mm -hmm. weird colors they put together. Like you wouldn't do that shit around us coming up. Not, not in that yeah, era. No, that wasn't in the nineties. Nah, that, that wasn't that wasn't it in the nineties. Now, if a nigga match too much, he's yeah. the old head. Word. If he match too yeah. much, that's yeah. crazy. You know yeah. I don't even understand that, but you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where yeah. let me, yeah, wear that brown with that lime green with the blue suede joint. Niggas like, yo, that's crazy, <laughs> but. Or you that's you, where the game evolved to. You but you, you, you was in a cipher with uh with drag though. <clears throat> Excuse me. You yeah. Was, Oh yeah, oh yeah, definitely battle drag. That was dope. Oh, that was a, yeah, that was a crazy experience. Um, mm. it was a long time ago, but you know, um, salute the drag. Always looked up to um what he was given to the culture, what he did in the game. I was a fan. Remember, I was a so just so y'all know, like during this wave of the, the locks, money, power, respect, mm -hmm. and DMX is dark as hell is hot. From okay. those beginning albums. I missed that whole wave. I was incarcerated. Mm. Damn. Wow. So I was watching. I didn't know, like, drag. And I watched them on TV in the day room. Mm. I'm up north. Like, yo, these my niggas. And whoever they niggas is became my niggas. Just mm. off of the, you know, off the mm. love thing. Like, right. so when I, I was, I had was fresh out. I had just came home. And I was at the Rucker Park. And I know the guys. I They know me as a kid. You know what I mean? Mm. Um, Uncle Ralph, he was recording it. Uncle Ralph mm. recorded it. Kiss was there. Um, I think Y was there. D was there. They both was there. And I never forget because, like I said, I'm a fan. I was like, damn, yo, drag. We was watching drag. Give it to niggas up north on the Rough Rider DVDs and shit. Like, right. yo, he was that nigga. Like, don't get it mm -hmm. twisted. He was that nigga. Yeah. So, me, I'm there fresh out. Kiss telling me, yo. Go give them the hammers, like you know, like go, like so. We in the cipher. Uh -huh. He's not in the cipher. Hold on, so let me make this clear. Uh -huh. Yeah, he's not in the cipher at this point. He had a protege. He had a young kid from Philly running around with him. Mm -hmm. Never forget, he had that. He had a charcoal gray Audi TT uh -huh. Uh -huh. drop top. I never that. forget. So he had Shorty in the passenger seat with him. Young, you know, his little protege, his little homie. Mm -hmm. Long story short, it's him and another kid. It's three of us. We in a cipher. But I'm giving it to these niggas. It's, it's effortless. You know what I mean? I'm fresh mm. out of jail. Like, I'm mad aggressive. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And um, they pushed him in it. They pushed him in. He had on the red Rough Rider joint with the Scully joint, the Rough Rider joint. They pushed mm -hmm. him in. Mm -hmm. And we just thought we we just was going at it. I ain't saying like, yo, I rich drag. Nah, I'm not even saying. I actually learned a lot from him in that battle. Mm. Because I didn't have no swag, like I was stiff. Mm. Like, like, like he said some shit to me. I, look, I got an elephant memory, bro. Mm. He said some shit to me in the battle. He's well, I don't call it a battle, but people, you know, you based on who you ask. But he said something. He leaned into me. And he said, "I got bullets to turn corners," and and he leaned into me and he acted it out, and the crowd went crazy. And I was like, "That's showmanship, mm. like that's." Yes, What's I'm up? just rough, rugged, like, yo, I'll beat your face in and put him together. Like, I, I remember the round. I, I came back with, he said that round, and then I came back. I said, like, something, fuck all that dumb shit that you talk, and I dumb clips, put a hole in your face in the frame of that bum bitch, because it was mm. a chick standing next to him. <laughs> then I said something, you feel, um... Um, this nigga don't really want it with snipe your pride talking. And since you think you hot, you get popped, so die scorching. Like, mm. I was saying shit like that, right? It was like, ooh, ooh, like in the crowd. So mm. somebody in the crowd, rest in peace, because because he um he, he lost his life a couple years later. But wow. Big China, um, Big China from Harlem was there at the Rucker, and he said, yo, that's my son from Green. Mm -hmm. And it was like, the jail niggas just came out of nowhere, like, yeah, like, so 
they I had like a little momentum and then mm -hmm. they just like, yo, nah, nah, that's enough. That's that's cool. Like and and we dapped it up and he told me, yo, I respect your gangster. And I said, yo, salute. I appreciate you. I yeah. see you soon because this is just something we whispered to each other out of respect, men of respect. And he knew I was connected. Mm -hmm. he didn't, even if he didn't really know who I was like, he knew I was connected. Like he knew I was from the hood because he could tell how, you know what I'm saying? So right, it wasn't right. like, like he brushed me off or something. It was like, oh, you're going to see these niggas around all the time. Mm -hmm. Kiss was that wow, happy, yo, like you held it. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like that was like my first impression, but I'm fresh home. So I'm hungry. Like I'm, I battled niggas for cuts in the face in prison, bro. Mm -hmm. Real true story. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. so I was, I was on some other shit, like, but. That for me was a dope learning experience, and I also learned that day I don't want to be no fucking battle rapper. <laughs> <You know>? <laughs> <laughs> Too much pressure, dog. I'm gonna catch a case, dog. What? Yeah. This nigga cannot stand here, scoop pussy and pound. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you fucking hey, hey, bag. Hey, hey. I, I, like, I get them niggas credit. I get them niggas credit. Niggas that know me, they tell you like, nah. <laughs> but it was a dope. It was a dope thing. Like I learned, yeah. like yo, showmanship, having mm -hmm. swag, like yo, like you know what I mean, acting out your bars, like mm -hmm. just from that split moment in time, I learned a lot from him. So I always salute Drag, though. Word up, I salute so Drag. That's the right. homie. That's the homie. Word up. That's the Drag mm -hmm. and all that. So we got we got to address what's currently mm -hmm. on the landscape as well. Mm -hmm. uh, Styles P. He went off on Mav Hoffa due to the fact yeah. of the J Hood interview and all that. What's your thoughts, King? Man, um, like I don't really like to comment too much on other nigga shit. I used to like mm -hmm. let certain shit be, but if I feel like if certain parts may have some type of effect, I always like give my opinion. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? But um, I just feel like I feel like with that joint, I rock, I fuck with Matt. Um, uh, I actually a fan of him too. You know what I'm saying? And um, it's just like it's unfortunate. It was whack. You know what I mean? I just think. Better communication will help things in the future. I just feel like right. you know, like if you like if you if you um especially a show like to that caliber, like if you book a show, like I'm pretty sure the scheduling to have you know mentally that you got both of these guys coming. So I think the disconnect was math was pretty much looking at the hindsight of it, and, and P was looking at it from the foresight. You know what I mean? So they both had a valid point. They mm -hmm. both had a valid mm -hmm. point. Mm -hmm. Um, but I think you got to lean more to the foresight because that gives you an opportunity to plant the seed. The hindsight is like a reminder of it. Like a re it's going to be a reaction. So the foresight kind of like, so, you know, like the conversation before the interview, like mm -hmm. it's, and then it's your, it's your position as a person that your job is to ask questions. Sometimes we forget certain shit cause we human, you know what I mean? And Someone of Styles P's caliber, I'm pretty sure that type of question would have been somewhere at the bottom of like his list. <laughs> like he wasn't probably right. even thinking about that shit. There's so much more dope mm -hmm. shit that he want to ask. Like, I, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I also, you still just accountability to the fact like when you manage ship, you still got to have your head on a swivel. So even as good as shit, a certain goal, you know, a certain line, you still got to like, that's your job to remember that shit. Like, yo. You still got to plant that seed, the foresight. Because I I, I personally feel like he didn't have Hood booked after Styles left. I think he already had it, the schedule as it have. It just happened they was in the same week. So I think mm -hmm. he still had time to give him the foresight. I think that's what P was saying. Like, you ain't give me a chance to plant the seed. And then you, you know what I mean? But still mm -hmm. relevant to him saying, like, in the hindsight, like, yo, I held it and reached out. Like, I'm not knocking them for that either. So mm -hmm. it's just whack. It's unfortunate. And I just think moving forward, better communication to make shit smooth. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. Definitely. Uh, definitely. I'm glad you um addressed that. Clear the air on that. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. What's happening with D-Block? Let's segue right into it. I mean, <laughs> I mean, listen, dog. Again, I don't like mm -hmm. to, you know, um. It's, it's so ironic, certain shit that you ask me, right? Mm -hmm. I'm looking at Soup, right? Because, like, Soup knows me. You know what I'm saying? Like, like before the rap shit, like, mm -hmm. when the cameras is off, yeah. you know, a lot of this shit be fabricated. We know a lot of this shit be entertainment. But where we come from, we take this shit serious with a passion. Like, shit really happens. You know what I'm saying? And um, yeah. I'm from that era. Like, I jumped off the porch a long time ago. You know what I'm saying? 
and um i just i'll just say this mm -hmm. you know what i mean like hood is a little homie like I don't got nothing against her. You know what I'm saying? Personally, like I'm a current D block member for anybody mm -hmm. that don't really know me or they just know me within this three, five years. That's why I'm saying super. We could go back 20 years mm. and super tell you about me. Maybe even more than that. 30 years. Like when I was really a shorty, yeah. he'll mm. tell you like, yo, was he really about that? Or was he really outside mm. like that? I lived my raps. Like, unfortunately I was stubborn enough and all of that shit put me in certain situations. You know what I'm saying? But this is the shit they rapping about. I did. That's why I deserve. Because I live this shit they rapping about. And, mm. and everybody knows it that knows me. My shit in the law books. I don't brag about that. I ain't been to jail in years by, by the graces of God. But I really am a nigga that was on D block for real in the prison. Mm. Versus just being a rapper saying that shit. Mm. You know what so, I mean? So I want to say this real quick. Not to cut your wisdom. Yeah. Yeah, and this is just me because sometimes when you talk, right, and when Kiss talk, y'all yeah. niggas' voices is real. Yeah. I don't know where that yeah, get, yo, but they can hear. I got a mix. Yo. I got a mix of him and hit Kiss hand styles sometimes <laughs> when I'm when I'm listening. You, hey yo, you know what's yeah. crazy? Hey yo, you know what's crazy? Mm -hmm. Again, thinking about that soup. Soup is here. Mm -hmm. Um, soup is a pioneer for <laughs> all of us in Yonkers. Mm -hmm. Any from when you from yeah, X, yeah. we talk about from Thank you, the grand champ down. Mm -hmm. This man right here touched all of us. Mm. So Salute. it's crazy though. I, I'm not saying like that ain't the first time I ever heard that. Yeah, nah. Yeah. Um, it's just it's ironic that I got I got I got video block, on tonight. <laughs> this is how we talk though. On my oh, block, that's mm -hmm. how yeah. like the OGs, yeah. that, like their OGs was my OGs. But even though they're older than me, I was mm. young enough to be outside but be in the mix of the shit. So yeah, I am influenced by the same shit they was influenced. It's wow. just that they were okay. older. Yeah, yeah. So beating on a mailbox, that distinct bounce when you rap, like mm -hmm. you take the beat away, you hear me round, that certain bounce, that mm -hmm. come from the mailbox. Got you. Yeah. You know what I mean? So people here and they say the comparison, yeah, that's cool. It's, it's, sometimes it's annoying, sometimes mm -hmm. it's honorable. Being mm -hmm. honest, I'm only human, but I know that those are the big bros. I never pulled mm -hmm. rank. They did it before me, but I they, they didn't do it and then inspired me to do it. Mm -hmm. I, I was already doing it. It's embedded so in tell you. you. I was already recording, shooting videos. You know what I'm saying? So we could go back as far as before they were even the locks. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? I, I got mm -hmm. thousands of freestyle ciphers that I've mm -hmm. done with Luch as a kid. I did that. Mm -hmm. Before uh, hood, it was pr I probably was hood for that era. Mm, you know mm. what I'm saying? Because I rap with Luch every day. I rap with Luch outside. Mm. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So, so I feel like now when I left the street, it wasn't D block. When I came home, it was D block. Mm, they had okay. hood. You know what I'm saying? But hood is younger. Like that's the little homie. Cool. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I didn't come home. Yo, I want to be down with D block. I got mm. my own company, Three Five Four Entertainment. Mm -hmm. All you got to do is Google it. You can YouTube three five four entertainment. We was doing this then. This is the early two thousands. Shouts to WAP. Mm -hmm. So you and you know my man WAP, mm -hmm. right? This mm -hmm. is somebody you can attest to. Mm -hmm. That's how we in a, interacted. We was grinding. We was independent. Mm -hmm. I'm from that block, right. but I didn't go looking yeah. for a handout. I said I'm gonna go make Big myself hot. Wap. Big WAP. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> WAP was running around. WAP was in prison, and I was in prison, and we came up with the idea. Mm. He came, he did more time than me, so he was already in. So mm. by the time I got in, he was on his way out. So he went home first. I'm still in. Mm. He getting everything ready. He's sending me the pictures with kissing them. And like I'm in the jail going crazy. Like, yo, we're gonna do this shit. Son, when you come home. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And mm. we put the plan, we really did it. That's my big bro. That's my thing. And he believed in me. He's one of the OGs on the block when I was a kid that I looked up to. They really was getting busy. Mm. All the shit niggas ran by, they was doing it. So mm. if I was frauding, or if I was faking, or if I was mm. jacking, mm -hmm. even this man to tell you, I would have been out of here a long time ago, dog. Mm. It's just a coincidence. Yeah. I can't help it. Yeah. This is just how I am. Mm -hmm. I've always yeah. been like this. Super <laughs> tell you from when I was 14 years old, well, I, you hear my video. I got video same. on them, young. Mm. I, and I yeah. rap the same. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So it's just a coincidence. I've seen a show. Let me ask you this real quick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because you know with mixtapes, mm -hmm. that's audio. It wasn't no visuals. Right. So you tearing up the mixtapes, you know, you home from jail, making your, yeah, right. your name back known on these streets. Right. 
was it a case of mistaken identity no nah, because when i got on d because we were doing dvds I'm, so there not was that I'm, not, I'm not talking about yonkers i'm talking about other boroughs no like we, we was yeah but we was doing dvds right no, and, I'm talking about that, the mixtapes. I'm talking about the mixtapes. I ain't talking nah, about the DVD. No, everybody yeah. already knew. Yeah, yeah. Everybody okay. knew me from a kid. Mm -hmm. And gotcha. everybody knew him. So he's older. They older than me. I was just mm -hmm. a shorty of the block. Yeah. So I was going this way while they was going that way. We on the same block. But musically, mm -hmm. I had my own crew. Right. We gotcha. was moving around. Gotcha. So gotcha. it wasn't even like I was up under them. And mm -hmm. we was right. So we, I was with a crew called Doom Entertainment. Shout sure. out to Lee doing yeah. fucking handy and yeah. my nigga caught on Mount on Master. I got some, I got they, some they, early they, on him. That's a fact. So they mm -hmm. put that shit together. So we was recording, sure, doing what? videos. You know what I'm saying? My man Blunts, we was rocking, mm. right? X mm -hmm. fuck with us. I fuck with X the same way that I fuck with the locks. Mm -hmm. You see, because mm -hmm. he used to come through all the time. He ain't mm -hmm. from my block. But he always was on my block. Yo, my block was very popular during this time. Yo, Rex, you, know, you know what's mm -hmm. You know what's funny, Rick? What's that? Yeah. You know what's funny, Rick? They was Wu Tang before Wu Tang. Mm. Doing mm. entertainment. I would say, I would, <laughs> well, I would say we was like you the Yonkers version um, of Wu Tang. You know what I'm saying? Mm. We was the Yonkers mm. version because oh. we was 30 deep, and within Dang. that crew, there was soloists, yeah, there were groups really, we all yeah. came under. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But the show you booked. So, yeah, soup, that's, what so that's, what was, that's what I'm saying. So fun fact, right? So Soup, and this is back then, early 90s. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Soup booked Wu Tang to Yonkers to come perform, right? Yeah. So so no, I'm gonna just tell you mm -hmm. the part that I played in this, right? Mm -hmm. I didn't know shit about Wu Tang until he um promoted and booked mm -hmm. them for the show, right? Yeah. So the, the show yeah. is at my junior high school, because I'm in the seventh grade. I'm in this is the junior high school. They got the gym, so they got the thing in there, right? Bro. So X is opening up, right? X get up on stage. Was, X was like, "Man, fuck Wu Tang." <laughs> right, right. So look, but look now. Look, me. I'm in the front row. I got my little cousin with me. My little cousin Hemi. Right. Shout out my cousin Hemi. Mm -hmm. He's a kid. He's light skinned He got the big afro. For some reason, they took a liking to him. They grabbed him. They put him on stage. And they and when I went to go on stage, they was like, "Nah, nah, you stay right." I was like, "Yo, that's my little." They's like, "Nah, you good? Stay right here, though. We got you, sir. We got you." Mm -hmm. So I don't know why they took a liking to him, but they took mm -hmm. a liking to him. So they had him on stage rocking the whole night. So I'm like studying like, damn, these niggas got all these songs, all these different niggas. Long story short, at the end of the night, they gave me all these Wu-Tang stickers mm -hmm. and they gave us a box of uh, White House. Nigga, we 13. They gave us a box <laughs> of White House. Like meth. And Inspector Deck, though, salute the Inspector Deck. <laughs> he just he just seemed so big brotherly with us. He showed us a lot of love. But then it was it was a lot of tense moments because you know X was like fucking Wu Tang and them <laughs> niggas was like ODB. I remember seeing ODB yeah. being rowdy and like I'm a kid <laughs> seeing all this though, right? So yeah. but I, I that's the first time when I ever got put on the Wu Tang. Yeah. So when we heard of Wu Tang yeah. and we saw this to their music, it was because Soup booked them for a show back then. Mm. So that was mm. instrumental to us because Wu Tang is legendary, yeah. like mm. to us. Like we I, know I, what I was saying? young doing that. Yeah, fact. No, salute fact. to you. Salute to you. You I, know what I mean? Salute so to you. Peace the X. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Word. That's dope. That's crazy. Soup spoke on that on my show too. So you just keep Oh, he did. Oh, wow. yeah. 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 Yep. He mm -hmm. said it the same way. Yeah, your, your story is real similar on, yeah. on that situation. So I was um, in the front row, so I seen it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so and X would have X would wear the mm -hmm. same outfit every day. <laughs> he used to wear an all black army suit with a green Jets jersey. I'll never forget that. Shit. I, I told him this when he was alive, and he cried. He was crying like, "Damn, dog, you remember that?" He, used to wear that he, had, the he, had, he had Boomer. He had the Brindle Pit, but he used to mm. always wear the all black because he said, "You never know when I gotta rob somebody." Yeah. That's how he always like looked at it. Like, <laughs> I've been on missions with X. I tell people that all the time. Ooh. I robbed oh, a nigga man. with X before. So. Mm. Yeah. I first hand know, like, and he didn't break down with me. He skipped on me. He said, like, yo, go around the corner, we're going to break down. 
That nigga went around the corner and he skipped on me. <laughs> <laughs> Word. God bless his soul. Oh, my Word up. Word up, man. The dog, man. Word Real up. shit, man. Wow. Word up. I wear that shit on my sleeve because that's the shit that really made me. So when people, like I said, if you don't really know me and you just scratching the surface, yeah, you just going off of, you don't even, you going off of hearsay because if you really dig or you do your research, you're like, damn, this nigga been, he been rapping damn near just slow as them. You know what I'm saying? Just younger, like, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. You know? Ew, but it's, it's all good, though. You know what I mean? That's, that's and, and, and people got to look at it like this, though. Uh, this is the last thing I'm going to say about it. Yeah. You got to look at it like this. Do you really think, in your honest opinion, that, now I'm going to kiss album. I got plaques. Right, I'm on all of the albums. Do you think for the amount of time I made my formal introduction as a D Block artist, formal? Because again, this is behind the scenes. It's already D Block. It's our hood. But mm -hmm. formally, was 2009. No security. That's the album that dropped. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And um, from that moment till today, mm -hmm. do you really think that they would have have allowed me to stay around to do the things that I was blessed to do if they felt like I was jacking them? Like, do y'all really think that? You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it kind of makes sense. Like, damn, when I, the first time people seen me on a DVD, this is what I was getting to, right? The first time people mm -hmm. seen me on a DVD was a on the come up DVD. Shout out to Fendi. Mm -hmm. On the come mm -hmm. up DVD was popping. In this era, if you it wasn't was on DVD. any of, yeah. if you wasn't on any of these DVDs, you wasn't popping. I don't give a fuck right. who you was. Yeah. Facts, right. facts or no facts. Mm -hmm. I'm talking That's about fact. smack. I'm talking about mm -hmm. Cocaine City, French yeah. Montana joint, yeah. on the come up DVD, Cut Master C, mm -hmm. True Stories DVD. Yeah. If you wasn't Sub Zero, if you wasn't mm -hmm. on these DVDs, you was not mm -hmm. making noise, dog. Mm -hmm. I was on all of those DVDs. The first time that I got on the DVD, who I'm on the DVD with? I'm on the DVD with Kiss. Y'all mm -hmm. can YouTube that shit. Look it up. Right. And I didn't even have to talk. He basically explained to the world who I was. Mm -hmm. And then I went into my freestyle. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. I ain't get on there, pop the shit. I was right there with Kiss. Big bro like this. Yo, this my nigga. Uh, uh. He gave y'all the... He told y'all right there. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Right. Mm -hmm. and, and that's why we keep it G the way we keep it. Because they know. You know what I'm saying? They know this shit is organic. You you had to be there to get it like this. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. So sure. if you had to say who's the top five out of Yonkers, your top five. Yeah. Who would that be for you? But when we say Yonkers, what do we mean? Like, mm. um, like just anybody in general? It don't matter. Well, let's do this. this let's do let's do the top five that the world may know, and let's do the top five that. Yeah, I mean, because obviously yeah. we don't do nothing without X. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nothing don't mm -hmm. move without dog. Dog always go to top, dead or alive. The dog is the he started every fucking body. Mm. So it's no nigga that yeah. comes before X in my eyes. You know what mm. I'm saying? Mm. Um, so you know, X birth, it was the next one. Like, you know what I mean? The locks are always the pups of X. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, the locks had an extension though. See, I'm just giving you now mm. the timeline pretty right. pretty much not to like mm -hmm. not answer the question. I'm kind of no, no, answering keep it. Going. Keep but going. I'm giving you the history. Mm -hmm. See, keep with going. the locks, it was subdivisions of when we're talking warlocks, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You had Rich Thumbs, you had Genovese. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now, yeah. me, yeah. I was yeah. outside every day. They were the ones that, yeah. like, they were the pups of the locks. Casino. Can't forget my Ooh. nigga. Casino. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But when we when I mentioned those three guys, mm -hmm. for me, Casino. I knew after the locks, that was them. Mm -hmm. Would you say so? Would you say so? Oh, I thought he said so. I think um, he, said, he did Casino. say so. Oh. You said casino, I believe. Casino, hey, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yo, casino. Boy, can't forget casino. Yo, um, hold on, hold on. Um, so, 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 Genovese and casinos before the locks, or that was that? No, no, during, during, same time. They, they the homies. During. They the homies of the locks. Look, yeah. They the homies of the locks that can spit though. Yeah, yeah. See what I'm saying? So it's a family thing. It's just that y'all know the locks or who they are. Right. Oh yeah, right. our niggas get busy too. Right. They ain't necessarily quote unquote locks, but they are because it's locks family. It's all of mm -hmm. us. But mm -hmm. when we talking just individually, like who got bars? Oh, we got niggas that got bars yeah. too. So mm -hmm. those are the names that for me, 
I'm arguing, nigga. Those are the niggas like on the street mm. corners, nigga. Cause after them is me. After them is me. It's me and my comrades. I came up with cats like Black Jesus. Shout out to Black Jesus, because at one point in Yonkers, he was the best in Yonkers, for, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. And whether yeah. shorty or older nigga. And he was a young nigga like me. Mm -hmm. But he was one of, let me just say he was one of the best in Yonkers. But he was one of the youngest that would could say he was one of the best in Yonkers back then. He was ahead of his time. Mm -hmm. Um, These are the cats that I was with. Phil Blunts. I was, these are the cats that I sparred with every day. Um, um, mm -hmm. Rest in peace, my man Will Walkers. Know what I mean? These are just these street names that that mm -hmm. legendary to who, depending on who you ask. You know what okay. I'm saying? So when we talk in top five, we really got to start at the essence because y'all already know the locks. Mm -hmm. Y'all already know X. Y'all mm -hmm. know Mary. Some people know Casino. These people all had deals. Mm -hmm. Genovese, they yeah. had yeah. you know they had nice yeah. deals too. Yeah, the deal. Yep. But we was the underground kings of the shit. Like we was really the ones on the curb going around battling niggas, going scrapping with niggas. Mm -hmm. Some of my niggas didn't like them to keep it a buck. Some of them they didn't get along mm -hmm. with the locks. The locks mm -hmm. they didn't really care for them niggas either. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I was always like the guy like that. I'm from this block. I'll stand out here with them. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I never really got too much into politics of that. And I was too busy doing my own thing because I had my own crew. Yeah. I had a group. Mm -hmm. We was the hardest niggas in the crew. When we talking about the Wu-Tang and we talking about 30 niggas, mm -hmm. we was the hard. And I'm not tooting my own horn trying to make it sound. We was the hard. I was really doing. I rapped in lyrics saying, yo, holding cracks in my photo shoots, rolling with my soldier troops. I'm saying this shit and I'm really on the block with crack and mm -hmm. hammers like this. Mm -hmm. I robbed niggas in the thing because they wasn't living right. They used to keep me separate from the rest of them. Mm. Know what I'm saying? So I was just I come see Soup because Soup my man, like I he's big bro. So I'm coming there doing freestyles, doing songs and shit with him right in this crib. Mm -hmm. They telling me, yo, Snipe, you gotta chill. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like I'm going out of town. I'm bringing niggas out of town. You know that story, Soup, that I brought <laughs> Phil Blunts out of town? Did Phil Blunts ever tell you about his episode with me? Dog, this shit is a nah, movie. I was a kid. <laughs> I was yeah. a kid. Blunts my man. I'm just mm. saying, like, look. I've been in situations like that. Niggas that live and die. Yeah. Blunt to tell you, um, Soup, we've been in some real <laughs> situations like that. This shit ain't talk. You know, unfortunately, I don't like to talk about my case because it's so old for one. And for two, I don't like to glorify that shit. Mm -hmm. But, you know, my charges, my charges were robberies and criminal use of a firearm. Mm. Like, I'm not from this club. I don't walk yeah. around flashing. That shit ain't cool. My shit is criminal use, dog. It's different. Mm -hmm. uh, fucking bullets, but on um, ballistics tests on your skin and on your clothes, this shit different, dog. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, I, sometimes I'll be offended when I hear mm -hmm. niggas, even sometimes my own niggas, like, y'all niggas gotta curb some of that shit. Mm -hmm. Because this shit, we really, really took sacrifices, penitentiary sacrifices for the shit that we rapping about. Right. You know right. what I mean? And right. I did this shit passionately, bro. <laughs> and I'm probably so stubborn that I did block a lot of blessings. I didn't hang up under the locks ass because we from the same neighborhood. We mm -hmm. already was doing, we had a movement. Mm -hmm, and right. plus, you know, it's different when you 13, 14, they 17, 18, 19, you know, right. they're looking at me, you little nigga. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I'm yeah. outside though. I'm you can't call me a little back then. You can't call yeah. me a little nigga. Right. Because I, I used to be gripped up and I used to hustle and sell drugs, and I ain't proud of that shit. Mm -hmm. But this is I was the man in my house. I wasn't a kid. You I ain't have a curfew. Fuck mm -hmm. you talking about? I'm outside one, two, three in the morning. I'm 13. I'm 14. I'm outside. I got a pack. I got a 38, nigga. What? You couldn't <laughs> tell me nothing. And I'm rapping this shit. Know what yeah. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yeah. And I'm yep. a cool guy. I never run around asking for trouble. Super tell you I'm dumb cool. I play sports. I'm nice and ball. Shit like that. But yeah, it gets spooky. <laughs> it gets spooky sometimes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I was, an I, was a, I was I was an aggressor. I never was a victim. I was aggressive. Okay. You know what I mean? So that's why I said I ain't proud of you, but that's yeah. how we that's how and some of the same niggas you know from my city, I inspired them. I influenced a lot of these niggas. And mm. sometimes niggas don't give me my flowers. So I'm glad I'm here today. I'm taking my flowers. I gave you this, this real quick, Snipe. What? Take because we, I ain't get to um speak to you, or we ain't get to speak to you during yeah. the verses with the locks and dipset man 
What's right, your right, thoughts right, on that right. whole situation, man? Give us <laughs> your view of the game, please. Man, I mean, <laughs> come on. The lots of seasoned veterans. This is, And this is what we just reminded people of. Like, I am come from that cloth. Yeah. So I got to talk that yeah. shit they talk. Because I come from that. Nigga, mm -hmm. what? We prepare for this shit. This shit is militant. We mm -hmm. ain't playing. When we come out and we like this, yo. Yeah, that's just the front. In, in behind, you know how hard we work at this shit? Mm -hmm. We do this shit till it's backwards. I re keep right. I don't write down rhymes. I write them in my head. I do mm -hmm. it a thousand and one time, and then a thousand more times till I feel like we we're perfectionists with this shit. So mm -hmm. I'm saying yeah. what I'm saying to you mm -hmm. is going into this battle. I already knew it was a slaughter. No yeah. disrespect to this. I knew that big too. fans of them. Yeah, but yeah, this was a fucking yeah. absolute slaughter <laughs> because mm -hmm. they played it sweet. They mm. didn't know the caliber of niggas. They, they just knew the out. They don't know, nigga. We train. We warriors, nigga. Mm. We really <laughs> Jedi's. Yeah. Two, three, four in the morning, we sleep on the couch. SP on the couch with his feet up like this, with a hoodie on. Yo, mm. Pete, you sleep? Nah, nah. I'm, I'm, I'm reciting my shit. <laughs> <laughs> three, yeah. four in the morning, man. Yeah. Lying, nigga. Mm -hmm. Yo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> so, so, you know what I mean? Did you go to the verses? No, nah, I ain't even go. It was COVID, man. I ain't, I was, oh, you know what I'm saying? Okay. I was out of town when it actually evoked, when the COVID um actually hit. I was out of town. Mm. So you I was, was hearing it in the middle, and then I, I was, so I was far from a distance. So I watched mm. it, like, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. So when you watched yeah. it, what was your reaction like? You was, you was hype. You was, was yeah, <laughs> I, was yeah. I, mean, yeah. I was hype because they know me. Like, like I said, man, it's it's a good opportunity for people that don't really know me to get acquainted. Like this yeah. is really me. Yeah. I'm really nigga. Turn these cameras. I'm like this, nigga. So mm. when we do yeah. shows and shit, mm -hmm. nigga, I be re I be back. Yo, wing niggas do wing shit. You know we got a term in Yonkers, wing. I'm the first mm. rapper from Yonkers to explain to the world what the word wing means. You mm. can look on iTunes, mm. Apple Music. I got a song called Wing. And I'm explaining <laughs> that it's just one of those exquisite terms that we got come from Yonkers. And a lot of niggas do wing shit. So corny, mm -hmm. just dumb, ignorant, dumb as hell, right? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. backstage, these moments, I'm one of those guys. Don't get it twisted. Like sometimes I forget I'm an artist. And I'll be in straight savage mode. Because mm -hmm. niggas be standing around looking dumb. Looking for attention. I don't like none of that shit. Get away from my niggas. Like, get out of here. Every It's a thousand niggas on stage. I sometimes I just get tired of having to feel like I got to regulate. Because mm -hmm. I just don't like to stand around and see fake shit. Mm -hmm. Know what I mean? And I don't mm -hmm. give a fuck if I grew up with you. If I know, if I see you, I'll call you out on it. Mm -hmm. Don't do no wing shit around me. Eh? Too much shit. I look at the shows. You got all these <laughs> niggas standing on stage on their phone. That niggas is corny, man. Yeah. I don't care if they yeah. buy niggas or not. Y'all niggas all look wing, man. Like, yeah. I'm an artist. Like, stop fucking getting me confused with the fucking entourage, nigga. Mm -hmm. I just do entourage shit, but mm -hmm. I'm a fucking artist at the end of the day. So sometimes I be having to flip on niggas, road managers, respectfully sometimes. I have my mm -hmm. moments. And it's just like, yo, man, I be tired of this shit, man. Like, y'all can have that shit there. Because y'all need some fucking dis This is D-Block, right? It's fucking dedication, discipline, and determination. You missing the mm -hmm. D, nigga. Discipline. Y'all niggas is not mm -hmm. focused. Sometimes mm -hmm. niggas just be looking weird. And I don't be liking that shit. So my energy sometimes might rub niggas the wrong way or it embrace mm -hmm. real niggas. I yeah, always yeah. embrace real yeah. niggas because mm -hmm. you know real shit. You just yeah. know how to carry yourself, how to move. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to be known like, yo, the crowd be screaming for me, dog. Mm -hmm. They be like, yo, that's not like, yo. Tech, shout out my nigga Tech. Look, the DJ, shout out my nigga Tech. Official. Yeah. He yeah. always yeah. Play, he always yeah. play my records. If I'm not there before he play my Still shit. play his joints, yeah. Come on, man. Real That's nigga real. shit yeah. like. Yeah. Awesome tech, nah. Been you killing shit in person hating, too. Bro, my, don't play that. Nigga still was playing my shit, man. Mm -hmm. Bitch ass niggas, whoever said that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Word up, dog. Because niggas know like I'm passionate about like I, if I love, I love hard. Yeah. I show niggas, man. I don't even want to jump too far, mm -hmm. but I'm who else you gonna know that's gonna tell you this? I'm the only mm -hmm. nigga 
Them niggas gave us contracts, man. I said, man, fuck them contracts, man. That shit is bullshit, nigga. I'm going to show these niggas that my lo my loyalty is worth more than a piece of paper, man. Mm -hmm. Fuck out of here. I'm going to say one that. I'm going to say one thing. Your energy is resonating all through this motherfucking screen. And I ain't even uh, beat you. Nah, dog. This you know, is me. Man. I swear to you. Yeah. I don't know how yeah. else to be. This is me. I dog. love it. Uh, I man. love it. Niggas, look, see, look, I've been around look, Greg. Look, yeah, we've been I around know. with Kiss. He been oh, with me with that. Kiss. He's yeah, he that. know. I, I'm telling that. my nigga, yo, come on, we get on the tour bus, man. Yeah. Fuck that. We, we that. you know, he's yeah. respectful. Yo, path. Yo, we out. Nah, come on, my nigga, we on. The yo, fuck, I regulate, dog. I don't listen. Mm -hmm. This is why you'll never see me one of these disgruntled niggas running around mad and shit because right. you gotta balance this shit out, dog. Yeah, like yeah. you. Sometimes you so caught up in the moment of trying to get the next thing. That it's hard for you to take a step back and just appreciate Enjoy the moment. Enjoy this moment. Yeah. One thing I'm gonna say, yeah. I ain't gonna get into all of the debatable parts. One thing I'm gonna say is the locks gave every one of us opportunities. Mm -hmm. Now, what niggas did with them, that's a different story. Mm -hmm. For me, there's a little bit more to my shit that's a little deeper than the rest of these niggas. Because mm -hmm. I'm a little bit more deeply rooted. So, yeah, of course, there's certain shit that I'm disappointed about. Like, yeah, y'all niggas just went. You know, I'm I'm vocal though. You gotta understand, I'm very yeah, vocal, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. but also I'm very also to the code. Mm -hmm. Never gonna disrespect. Like, I think the disconnect with me and the locks to share something with y'all. I think one of the disconnects with me and the locks is that I, they I don't feel sometimes I think they don't realize how old school rule I am. When you when you put love into something or somebody, you take care of them, you you um give them a reputation, you protect them. And they stab you in the back, it's hard to deal with niggas again like that. Mm. It's you always scarred. It's like the PTSD shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And um, I'm so old school rules that I still remember the gap when I'm 12 and 13 and they 17 and they 18. Mm -hmm. So I always I never pull rank on them. I always look at them like those are the big bros. No matter how big I get, I'm never gonna feel bigger than them in the sense that knowing where I came from. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I'm never going to forget that. Like, I'm never going to act like I'm too good. Or, you know, I got 20 million followers. Like, y'all need me. I could, That's a corny nigga. Like, mm -hmm. oh, I never. Those are the bros. They fucking made it possible for niggas like me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And if they didn't like the way I was hit, holding it, if they ain't like the way that I was repping it, you think, oh, so, they, so, so now y'all telling me the lots of some fake ass niggas. They wouldn't tell me. Oh, I'm just too real. Nah, mm -hmm. man. This shit is all, it's all written. Like, all of this shit, the universe... It, you can't right. change it like this right. shit. You can't fake this shit. Mm -hmm. I've right. been in jail with niggas. Niggas say they kingpins, killers, dope, dope, did all that, right? And one thing I learned about being in prison with niggas is the truth always come out. Your characters mm -hmm. reflect the way you move, the way you talk. So you can say all the shit you want till you blow in the face, but how you move is what really speak to me. Mm -hmm. So I know how to be a great judge of character. You know what I mean? So I mm -hmm. display that. That's why I move a certain way. I'm a lone wolf, dog. I don't be rolling with a hundred. I don't need a hundred right, niggas. Right. That shit is wink. Right. I'm a lone wolf. Right. When I call my case, I call. I was robbing niggas by myself. I wasn't robbing. Mm -hmm. I was robbing all y'all looking type of niggas. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, and, and that's just real shit. And, and like mm -hmm. I said, man, they even the locks, nobody can't take that from snipe life. That's why this shit, I'm one of the last ones left. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like literally, like look great, physically fit. Bars is still sharp. I'm not mm. a new nigga. I ain't even rapping. Mm. Y'all know me from five years ago, ten years. You better dig deeper, nigga. I was in the jail. My name was ringing. Niggas knew. Like I said, I could I could say I sparred with niggas at the levels of drag on and them. I got records with Mano and fucking Wyclef and fucking Fat Joe. I never had a deal. Mm. I never had a deal. Mm. I use my contract as an ashtray. Y'all want to know the truth? I keep mm. it fucking G, man. I keep it G, dog. <laughs> Fuck that contract. I'm here, nigga. Mm. Fuck that, man. Some people mm. say you stupid. All right, whatever. Well, let me ask you this, you right? Know what I'm let me ask you this. So, right. when the locks was beefing with Rockefeller, <coughs> hey, property, you was locked up. Um, what year was this, man? Um, I'm trying to think. Man. Because y'all gotta remember. Y'all gotta remember. Um, two thousand something. Make my. I didn't make my formal introduction to D Block until 09. So oh, I yeah, think all of that had already before. happened. Yeah, that was before. That already happened. I was running with my company, me and my man Wap. We had 354 from when I first came home 
excuse me, in the early 2000s, all, I mean, to this day, I still got 354. It's an LLC, mm. it's incorporated. But as far as the catalog of music, we mm. got 354 that, that goes back from like 2002. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like my catalog, like I, I was the creative mind behind it. You know what I'm saying? Right. And Watt pushed the pen, he pushed the buttons, and I was getting features. See, this is the thing people don't know. Like everybody got their favorites at D-Block. I'm the all-time paid feature getter. So I don't give a fuck who niggas like. Mm -hmm. Nigga, I got the most paid features because they was no. checking for me. Right. So I right, had to right. and ain't no knock, ain't no shade to my comrades, my fellow members that was there at the time. But they know I was the fucking Chris Paul. Like I made shit happen. Hmm. I walked in with an independent mind state. It all started with Luke saying to me one day in the hood, yo, come get on the song. You know, we working on the album. I need you on at least on the join the song. Oh, I right, no doubt. Mm -hmm. I'm doing three, five, four. I'm on all the DVD. Fre Shout out for French Montana. He used to shoot some of my videos in the hood himself. Yeah. Like, yo, now nah, you doing it wrong. Come here. Let me show you like this. My nigga French, he recorded songs with me in the closet in the projects. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna never say nothing bad. That nigga's a rock star. He deserved all what, that shit. Cause I what, know what, what, year, what, what, what year is this? What year is this? I did a couple of songs with him. Um, okay. This was probably... I want to say 05, 06. Mm -hmm. mm. 05, 06, 07. Yeah. Probably 04. That era, somewhere between. Early there, 04. You know what I'm saying? But late, I was fucking with French. 04. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, but we we was we was fucking with French because WAP had a, a relationship really with, with French. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And um, French always pulled up on us. Like, that was never, you know what I mean? It was never a thing like, uh, or a lot of these DVDs, they used to come pull up on us. Right. You know what I'm saying? Give us our segment. You know what I mean? Like I said, when I started doing the come up DVD, I didn't even talk. Kids talk. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So like my shit go back from then. Like this is that's the shit that made me. All my mixtapes, being on that piff and live mixtapes, mm -hmm. getting the trophy, doing a hundred thousand downloads. We was doing that in 05, 04, mm -hmm. 05. We was doing that. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's true. Yes, sir. Yeah. But you, 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 and, you and Sue got an incredible history, man. I want, I want to know yeah, more about what's up with you oh, and Sue. Like I said, man, yeah, give Soup his flowers, man. Definitely, I want to give Soup his flowers because, um, like I said, I've known him since I was a shorty, and he seen I was talented, and um, he gave me a lot of opportunities to to do my thing, whether it was mixtapes, shows he would do, yo, you want to perform, like he Soup's been doing what he's been doing for years. Soup don't get enough recognition in Yonkers. I ain't gonna lie because I don't give a fuck if you go from the top to the bottom of the order. I'm, I'm good anybody with Anybody who was ever anybody went through this man. Anybody that was anybody in Yonkers at some yeah, point but... went through this man. Mm. You heard what I said? Mm. Anybody. I'm talking about Yo, Rec, on, man. Rec, I told you in the beginning I'm good with it. Right. And, he, and you know what's crazy though? You know I'm what's good crazy? with it, Rec. I don't, That's I don't how really... Soup really is. Yeah. That's how soup, yo. That's really yeah. how soup really is. Mm -hmm. I be the nigga more animated for him. Nah, fuck that soup. These niggas go on. I be the same way. Tell them all the time. That, I'm, yeah. I'm, you know, I'm I know, time. I know. I know this. I'm on that same time that for soup. Yeah, it's many sacrifices that this man has done. This nigga turned his crib into a studio. Like we was running through, coming. Like it was so much shit that he gave to the culture, the black parties. Yeah. Being mm -hmm. able to rap at the block parties and all—all all of this is part yeah. of the. This for me, I wouldn't be who I am if it wasn't for guys like him. Crazy. Mm -hmm. This nigga is—he need his own shit, like for Yonkers. He need his own statue, like like mm -hmm. unsung, like the livest underdog. Like this, this is the guy right here. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, low, salute. Yeah, yeah. And it wasn't That's like thanks, you gotta. Thanks, you guys thanks. gotta remember, mm -hmm. we don't Lukey. come from the era of of digital. You had to be outside. We talking mm -hmm. about this man right here. He's outside. He's around the pushers, the thieves, the hoodlums, the killers. He's outside, though. <laughs> These DJs don't be outside nowadays, man. These fucking punk-ass DJs <laughs> talking <laughs> shit from him. My man was outside, mm -hmm. though. Could, well, how is he going to get the shit? Mm -hmm. How yeah. else they going to know who the crib to go to? <laughs> we got to know who's the guy. He's the guy right. because he was in the mix of the action. I remember the parties at school 12, the battles. He put those on for us. He did that mm -hmm. for the city. Like, y'all ain't gonna take that from my man Soup, man. Fuck that, nope. Soup. Talk your shit. You a fucking legend in Wyoming. <laughs> <B. laughs> 
You know what I'm saying? Uh, and that's why I feel good about having this conversation with somebody. And that's one thing about Soup. You see how he is? Soup is one of those guys, like, he's transparent. So, come on, man. You think I'm going to sit here in front for Soup? Not, not Soup. Soup could pull my card if I'm if I'm front and pull my card, Soup, because he knows. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? This shit real. Yeah. Like, no, sure. don't wait for your favorite rappers and celebrities yeah. to tell you. Mm -hmm. Listen to the streets, because the streets talk. Mm -hmm, you know what bro. I'm saying? We was really yeah. out there. Like, we was really doing it. And this man was making sure our shit got played. Mm. And niggas in every hood was checking for it. Your name had the ring. We was going there. Press we was, we, press, we going there, nigga. Oh, we, they got niggas over there on the south side? Oh, we going there, nigga. It ain't no <laughs> get online and talk shit. Nah, we going there. What's up, nigga? We pulling up on blocks. What's up? Mm. We spitters. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> So yeah. it's my daughter. <laughs> nah, it's all good. You know what I mean? man. So snipe. I, I can't front. We gotta have you on the show, like probably like yeah, a couple more times. <laughs> oh yeah, because we got more to talk about. Hold on one second, yeah. fellas. One second. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Yeah, so what we want you to go on, you know, go a little crazy sometime, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Cause even even a short time like yeah, yeah, even, yeah. Man, <laughs> Sue, yo, yo, how long we how long we been cool <laughs> like at least I don't know ten plus years or more. Let me, hey, yo, no, joints, no, you know no, what I'm no. saying? No. Yeah, you yeah, know what I mean. But right. you you never tell your story to to the world. You be holding back too much for me, man. My nigga got footed, but see that's the shit that's crazy. Half of the shit he don't got to tell y'all. He, he can he really don't. show y'all if he want yeah. to. He can show y'all if he want to. <laughs> we yeah. talking about footage, the black, like the cam mm. card, like he'll show you the footage. Mm. Mm -hmm. Whether it's X mm -hmm. all the way down to us, the little homies, man. Mm -hmm. We was out there, dog. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and X was like the type that he has pushed all of us. Like, for me, my relationship with X, I'm gonna always cherish because he always pushed me. Like, I met him doing the beat on the wall for him. You know what I'm saying? And he just started mm -hmm. rapping, like, yo, show you rap. And he's just like, you know what I mean? And he would say the mixtapes, Miggity, my nigga. They used to call me Miggity. I used to do the little Dots Effects thing, like in a battle. I battled a nigga back in the days, and I started doing this Dots Effects shit, and I had this phase where they would call me Miggity. So when I heard that, you know, <laughs> crazy, Miggity, my nigga. That's the dog, nigga. What? Kill y'all niggas. Like, I, we uh, didn't care if we smoked. Yeah. We talking, we talking right, right? We talking mm -hmm. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. smoke. I'm going to keep it a buck mm -hmm. with you. I don't care if he smoke. Mm -hmm. We we love X. Like, mm -hmm. we knew he was that nigga. Like, and, and, mm -hmm. and this man right here is responsible for a lot of shit in his journey. A lot of this shit he's responsible for. Mm -hmm. And this is the nigga, our so, icon. So, Snipe, let me ask you this. Why you think people don't give Supers flowers for that? I have no idea. Great question. Remember, I was in jail, dog. I don't, what happened, Soup? Look, mm -hmm. y'all got to remember, look. Mm -hmm. It's dark as hell, it's hot, flesh of my flesh, blood of my blood. What's that? And then there was at I missed three, four rough rider cash money tour. Ooh. I'm mm. up north. I missed everything. Mm. So I I've come home. I'm assuming like now nah, bloodline soup. They gotta have I don't know what happened, man. Somebody mm. winged it somewhere, but I don't feel like he deserved what mm -hmm. what I feel he deserved a whole lot more than what he got or what he's getting. In my opinion, because I seen I it, you know what I'm saying? We, we, we all agree. Yeah. Facts. Yeah. Facts. And I'm from the town, so, mm. like, it ain't just I like just, I just like, stepped nigga, away, you know? Yeah, nah. But Soup always been involved, man. You're right. He always was. I mm. stepped away, right? I feel you, King. You know, like, when niggas ain't have nothing Rick, to do. You hear me, Rick? Yeah, I hear you, Soup. I just I I stepped you. away, bro. That's all. Mm-hmm. I get it, mm -hmm. Soup. I get it. You know? Mm -hmm. But I feel the same way, bro. Yeah. Did you say Soup? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo? This, this you up. What'd you this say? Game of what I'm what I'm all is, this game will break you up if you allow it to. Mm. To what? You know? So I just stepped away yeah. at the time. That's all. It's a fact. Mm. Understood. Oh, shit. I have my name. As long as you got your name, you good. Mm hmm They can't never take that from you, dog. You know that. That's a fact. Your name, your reputation. Word. You know what I mean? 
Uh, fact, King. But yeah, man, um, yeah. this was epic right here. Yeah. Jump okay. off the new year with this. Um, well, this fellas, y'all got I know y'all wanted my, I know y'all wanted, um, if y'all, if y'all want me to add it right here, um, I, I, I'm just going to say this, right, about the whole hood shit, right? So, for me listening to what's going on, this is just the only question that I have. Like, as mm -hmm. so we went through the timeline, so y'all could kind of get an idea of what part I may play in this, being around at the time or being able to influence certain shit, right? Mm -hmm. And um, because <clears throat> I you see my energy, this is how even during this time, right? So, so um, my my question really is like, how many fucking times do we got to keep hearing this shit though? Like, mm -hmm. so you talking about hood right now? Talking about hood shit. Okay, like hood hood yeah. shit is this. It's like he's had his moment. He flipped, went at him, separation. He had his space. Mm -hmm. He had his time to come to his closure part. Mm -hmm. If I'm not mistaken, he did like a record or something to the effect of like a letter to the locks. And and this is old, right? <clears throat> Y'all can mm -hmm. look this shit up. He did a letter to the locks and, you know, just showing his maturity and just moving past him. It was dope. I thought it was fire. Mm -hmm. Made amends with him. Spoke to him. Right? Everybody love. All right, cool. We moving on. Cool. Now, I could see if this happened maybe the last year or two and it, and you felt like it was still some untold, you know, uncovered stones you wanted to. So you kind of reiterating the story. But this that we told that I'm talking about right now, this shit happened nine damn near ten years ago. Mm. So mm -hmm. I'm just saying, like, damn, I thought we already got to that point. So like the code of honor, like, is different. I forget he's younger, maybe, to the sense not giving him no excuses for not knowing the G code. But it's just like it's certain shit you don't just keep digging in old wounds. If you had closure, then just leave it at that. Cause mm. this this isn't recent. This didn't just happen. Like. We've mm -hmm. had closure for years now. Like, I know Hood personally. Like, I said, mm -hmm. we cool. I always had a good relationship with him. I ain't never had nothing foul mm -hmm. with Hood. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? I wasn't one of them hating niggas. Like, that would have been dope, though. Oh, he, he made the closure. Maybe they'll do a reunion. Maybe they won't. But just the mm -hmm. idea, like, it's cool. The fans, mm -hmm. I know they probably want to see that shit. Yeah, I would, I'm not, being a D, being a D block member, I would never hate on that. I would promote that for him. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But, um, it is what it is. I'm just saying, like, we heard this. I thought we already got to the conclusion. So I don't know why you feel like you got to keep telling the story 29 more times. <laughs> I, I'm just saying, like, I thought we got to that point. Now you're going back in it again. It's like, but you know, and I'm never, well, I'm never telling somebody don't tell a story. Like, he, mm -hmm. that man deserves. I'm glad to tell you said that. I was about it. to say that. I'm glad you yeah, said every, that. But what I'm yeah. saying, but do y'all do understand what I'm saying? Like, yes. listening from True. somebody that's. Un yes. Yes. We already did though. We did mm -hmm. the story ten different. He on all these different platforms. He said the same shit already. This mm -hmm. ain't new though. So some mm -hmm. people might be seeing this and they like, uh, but we literally had a thing. Like mm -hmm. it, they went through that phase, mm -hmm. and then it came to the closure. You well, know what I'm saying? People ask so I guess questions. maybe he didn't get all the closure he felt he needed, but. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's just me looking like, damn, I thought we already did this. Like, oh, you doing this shit again? Damn. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, and, you know, like I said, I ain't want to call out his shit. Like I said, that's that. Uh, there's certain things that's debatable that he said, and there's certain shit that's not. There's certain shit that I ain't getting into. Who owes money? That's his thing. Respectfully, mm -hmm. that's, I'm not getting into that. But certain shit, though, that really made me say, come on, dog. Like, you... You ain't no fucking co-founder, no fucking D-block dog. Like, come on, you could, you could say you, you could say you the first artist, like you the mm -hmm. first nigga. Like, yeah, nobody mm -hmm. can debate that. Mm -hmm. But co-founder, come on, my nigga. Like, stop the cap, my nigga. Stop the fucking mm -hmm. cap. Because think about it. Think about. I knew, I just put myself in the shoes, right? Mm -hmm. Me, right? If I know in my heart that I've helped create or co-founded something and I separate from it, you think I'm gonna just give it up that easy? Mm. If that was me, nigga, nigga, I'm the real D block. Fuck y'all niggas talking about, nigga. I started, I helped. You know what I'm saying? Like that, that's would have been my thing. Like you ain't gonna just take this, nah, nigga. If I'm out, a part of this is out with me too, nigga. 
You mm, know what I'm saying? Mm, I got the block. Y'all can have the D then. Fuck it. Pause. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I know you be slick. Like, get him the D. Like, I got the block. <laughs> I'm, just saying, I'm just saying, like, I'm putting myself in it, though. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. No, but that definitely. one time in the history of this, did he claim it? Did he write? Mm -hmm. He started his own shit. Mm -hmm. And then you look at it from their perspective. Look at it from the locks perspective. Mm -hmm. And if they knew in their heart that they, he, he, like, cold create, found they would have changed the name. They don't want nothing to tie, attached, created to. They wouldn't have wanted nothing moving on that would have been in, in, in coercion with him. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Or anything mm -hmm. he had to do something with. They mm -hmm. would have just changed the whole shit. But we never seen that. It is what it is because mm -hmm. that's their shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's it. You know what I mean? But like I said, that's, that's just my opinion because I'm a current member before. We're not talking about the record label. We're talking about the block, the brotherhood. This is my hood. 354 is the first thing y'all ever heard the lock say on their freestyles. Go back and do your research. When they mm -hmm. on a clue tape, what block they screaming? 354. That's my block. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So this is before hood. You know what I mean? So I can say my two cents. Like, you know what I mean? Like I said, I only speak on the shit I feel is relevant for me to say something on. Right. But that, nah, this D-block mm. shit, P was in the pen. He was on D. He was in the fucking jail. You know what I'm saying? I was in jail, nigga. Mm -hmm. P was in the county. I was in prison, though. Let's not, not trying to drop my car, but nah, nigga. I would, P was in the county, nigga. I was mm. up north, nigga. But he mm. came up with the shit then, nigga, from mm. jail life, nigga, jail mentality. But it was mm. dedication, mm. discipline, and determination, which was the deciding factor of naming it that. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. as far as sitting at a table and come on, dog, you the hood was a young homie. He was like 13, 14. Like, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So it's like, that's babe, bro. Like, I ain't knocking him. I wish him the mm -hmm. best. It's all love. Mm -hmm. But I was around. So yeah. there's it's just certain shit I ain't gonna let slide by. Like, nah, that's cap, dog. Certain shit you can have. Like, I ain't that's your business. But that, mm -hmm. nah, nigga. Cause nah. I know I would have, I wouldn't have never let it niggas. Think they could take D block if I created it, nigga. Fuck you, man. Mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you me. saying that? So what you think about when Dr. Dre walked away from Death Row and he started Aftermath? Right. You know, Death Row was his baby. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's a good. Um. That's a good comparison, Analogy. but it's yeah. different mm -hmm. because of the age. Mm -hmm. Of course, <laughs> the age of influence was involved in. Um, he made that conscious decision on his own because he just didn't want to be attached to it. You know what I mean? That was his own. But if he wanted to, he could have. We know that. Right. But mm -hmm. I don't really try to come. I can't really compare it to that nah. because at the end of the day, like I said, Hood was just young. He was a kid. Mm -hmm. So how much influence do you really have at a round table? <laughs> what? Nigga, shut yeah. up and get in the back. Nigga, rap. Like, you know what I mean? I'm just saying like <laughs> a young nigga like mm -hmm. I'm 27. You. 13 nigga you like could be my son like huh mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like <laughs> no, you know you. so I, I i i just really can't buy the whole like the creation founder part the mm -hmm. first mm -hmm. you could pop shit all day i'm the pioneer y'all niggas d block like you know pop your little mm -hmm. shit mm -hmm. but don't go like nah man because none of us would be repping it i know i wouldn't even be repping it then mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying like if i knew that like if mm -hmm. i knew like nah this is kind of hood shit nah y'all y'all tripping I'm going back three, five, four, four more. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how I would have felt. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. but whatever, yeah. yeah. It's all so good though. I, I know this is kind of <laughs> tough, but I gotta ask you. You mm -hmm. on Mrec TV, unsung heroes, and all that. Mm -hmm. So when um Jay Hood, I guess, got on stage with Fifty, what was your thoughts? I mean, that's just disloyal, man. You know, it, mm -hmm. it's like. It's equivalent, like in my opinion, it's equivalent to like telling on a nigga. Damn. Like it's like it's cause cause you gotta think about it. I'm not gonna wish jail on my worst enemy. I wanna kill. Damn. I'm not so if you wanna have a beef with me and then go stand with my arch enemy, you slap me in the face. I don't give a fuck what you talking mm. about. You strategy or you know it wasn't gonna happen. It just what happened is what we saw. We don't mm. give a fuck what you thought was going we care about what we saw them mm. niggas literally was saying fuck d block and pulled you out and you was happy you swinging the chain i was wink dog mm. i'm sorry but that was wink no mm. man that was corny as hell man mm. so right then and then like it's over like it's over like you went like i could have a beef with the locks right because mm. we ain't 
Ain't nobody relationship perfect. Don't think we don't argue. Don't so all y'all niggas out there. Don't think the locks. We did just this perfect crew. Niggas argue. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? All the time. I'm very argumentative, so mm. I'll tell y'all niggas right now. I'm yeah. one of the only niggas that oh, people will tell you in history was in the studio argue chest to chest with Pete. Mm. Sweaty with Luch, like they ready to fuck me up. I'm ready to slam them niggas back around too. <laughs> get busy, dog. So it's like a respect mm. thing, like yeah. you know what I mean. So I'm like, I don't back down, nigga. I, nigga, what's up, nigga? Like mm. you know what I mean. But this is it's our brotherhood. You know what I mean. So, but mm. I honor that. And it's mm-hmm. so it ain't nothing. I run around with like, yo, yeah. We don't do that shit for the cameras. That shit, mm-hmm. that internet shit, is for the birds, b. We from a different era, so it's a different set of right. rules. Mm-hmm. So when you just do certain shit that just blatantly violate the rules, it just shows what your character was from the beginning. You was never built for this type of shit mm-hmm. because you cracking under pressure and you doing shit that's way out of nah, dog. It's like wishing jail on a nigga. I don't even gotta say telling on it. It's just like wishing jail on a nigga going to your arch enemy. To me, in my opinion, I don't mm. rule the world, but I got my own fucking opinion. And I feel like if I'm going to stand with your arch enemy and you my brother, mm. that go to show me you obviously you wasn't my brother to begin mm. with. And mm. for two, what type of character of a snake you are. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Fuck out of here, man. I did time, man. I did real time for shit like that. So... <laughs> I take that shit personal, dog. Like mm. honor, just saying. Like when mm. we talk about codes and honor and ethics, I'm with so you. it's always bigger than rap with me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So you can see the same view from Cam eyes when Jim and Jewels got on stage with Fifty Cent. Yeah, I know Cam mm. felt like that too at the, at that particular mm. moment. It's not we human. We're not saying mm. that um certain things come with growth. You know what I mean? But we're not gonna yeah. at, at like we're not gonna not admit to the fact that. Yeah, those are some pretty low blows, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't care if Cam fronted on the front, on the outside, like, yeah, nah, fuck them. Nah, that shit hurt him. That shit hurt mm-hmm. him. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. For the time, ta- at that time. You That's know what yeah. I'm saying? At that time. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. So, I mean, like I said, man, you know, I just mean, maybe I'm like, I'm gonna just, this is probably the best I'm gonna get, man, unsung hero, man, because. I stick to the code so much, I don't give a fuck about none of that industry shit. I don't mm-hmm. care for the shine. Y'all can have it. Yeah. I'm going to get a bag, though. I'm going to stream. I'm going to get a bag. I'm going to hustle. I'm going to figure out a way I'm getting paid for features. Mm-hmm. Nigga, I'm doing show. You see me on the fly, you know I got a bag, nigga. Don't worry about the size of it. Just worry that it's coming in, nigga. I'm right. It's coming. So I'm just saying that to say, like, man, nigga, like, you can't something. stop greatness, man. Yeah. You just, mm-hmm. just got to keep pushing, man. And, and for me, like, that's just me. I'm with the dogs because... I don't really care for the commercial shit. Like, you know what I mean? These niggas be doing this shit for gimmicks. You know what I mean? Niggas running around doing shit like that. Don't even add up. Like, y'all niggas is talking about shit. Y'all know, I, you know them. You know them too, right? You know, you know They take you know, the camera off. They take the wire off. You know yeah. what I'm saying? At, at, you know the, end, what I mean? at the end of the so, day, it'd be the same thing we always talk about, wreck that integrity at the end of the day, man. There you, you know, go. Yo, you know what I mean? Stand man, on you know, that. Yeah. Stand on right that. There. You know mm-hmm. why? Hey, yo. I live and die by that, man. I right. use that word so much. I'm surprised yeah. I ain't say it tonight. You said it for <laughs> Yo, Never yo, know. hey, yo. But you know something, though? You hear me? Mm-hmm. That's something that's so, 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 so overrated. Mm-hmm. Um, Overlooked. We don't oh, want to say yeah. overrated. Yeah. It's, it's overlooked. overlooked. Yeah. People's integrity is important, my nigga. And nobody yeah. seems to understand that. I talk right. about this all I the stand time. On that. We stand on that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because what you do when nobody else is watching, that's the true you. So be how you are when nobody's watching. That's where it counts. So when they Bro. watching. Mm-hmm. That's where it counts. Bro. Hey, yo, dog, I'm going to tell you something, man. Integrity could be a curse, man. <laughs> yeah. Integrity oh, yeah. could be a curse. And yeah. I say that for me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because, it, because oh, okay. certain shit you stand on. You sometimes you you <laughs> block what you consider yeah. blessings because of certain integrity. Because you by yourself, mm-hmm. yeah. And ain't like, too many you know, others. People, ain't too many other people in the world that's gonna be like rocking with yeah, that same dog, type like, of vibe. Yo, dog, that shit right there though, that hits home, man. Because yeah. I can't talk about that word enough. Niggas be mm-hmm. looking like they got five heads, and niggas don't even have mm-hmm. no fucking integrity, man. None. It's ridiculous out here, dog. Mm-hmm. And that's why I'm a fucking lone wolf because mm-hmm. I can't be responsible for ill-advised principle carrying niggas man right. you know what i'm saying these niggas gonna get under pressure they're gonna tell on you anyway man these mm. niggas is lying that's why i tell the young mm-hmm. homies get out the game man get out the streets man you know what i'm saying right. because that shit that shit ain't prom they don't love you man being in jail is whack 
Trust me, that mm -hmm. shit is whack, man. Mm -hmm. And these niggas get the petty slaps on the mm -hmm. wrist. No, I'm talking about the niggas that ain't have the money to get a paid lawyer. They gonna get fucking railroaded. They gonna get that first offender. They gonna get six mm -hmm. years. They gonna get nine years. They gonna get 12 years. And they ain't, they ain't getting no money. So they ain't getting mm -hmm. no packages. You know what I mean? Yo, you notice the niggas that keep going to jail are, this is the type of shit I say I want to slide something, but niggas that keep going to jail, mm -hmm. In my opinion, <laughs> again, this is just my for my experience. Are niggas that go to jail and don't really do hard time, and not just the time itself. Some niggas go to jail and get pampered. They get spoiled. I see so many fly niggas in jail come home and be bum ass niggas. Like, damn, you was fly in jail. The mm. fuck, damn. niggas be spoiled and hand for getting packages, getting visits. Mm. Them niggas that mm. be having to do hard time. And they be having to create shit for themselves. Mm -hmm. Them niggas is the ones that be thinking twice about doing crime before. Because they know how hard they have. Mm -hmm. The other niggas like, oh, I'm going to get bailed out. Or, yo, yo, I'm going to get visit packages every week. Niggas going right back. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I was, a, I was a nigga that taught a class in prison. Like I had a violent charge, right? Mm -hmm. So you have to take certain programs or you're not coming home. Any nigga in the state, everybody know. If you got a violent charge, you got to take mm -hmm. ART. You have to. Mm -hmm. If you got a drug charge, you got to take ASAP. You have to. It's mandatory. They push your date back. They make you max the fuck out. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And I took that, and this is the type of shit that I learned, absorbed, and gave back to the fellow comrades. You know right. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, this is accountability and just integrity and shit like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's real That's shit. Real. That's real. Super real. I mean, we got to go into that, man. I mean, I know we've been rocking mm -hmm. like an hour and a half, but them stories got to get told because um yeah <laughs> say for instance right we might this is what we do we got to mm -hmm. do part two to this let's do part because okay. you got your, you got your daughter everybody right. got to get to stuff but you know what this this interview yeah so we got to do part two yeah. we got to do part two yeah. but let me let me let me end it with this though all right give the youngest some insight on staying out of jail and the reason why they should stay out of jail just give them that visual i mean that's i mean that's it right there man in a nutshell um you know being on the block is lit chasing the chicks i get it is lit but themselves they lonely dog mm -hmm. them visits they become far and scarce where you seeing people walking that yard you know what i'm saying and um or some niggas, and you know, who wants to go through the, who wants to go through the struggle of the journey of jail when you're mm. trying to be a tough guy? Because that's not a cool journey either. Mm. Keeping your head on a swivel, the fights, cuts, stabbings. I done seen it all. I did it all, bro. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Real talk. And it's, it's not, you never have a moment to relax. You know mm. what I'm saying? You never have a moment to just breathe. Mm. You know what I mean? The little shit that we take advantage of means so much more to you. Nigga, you know I could get one letter from somebody and that letter would mentally last me from six to nine months. Mm. Like, I'm good off of that letter. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Motivative purposes, inspirational purposes, all of that. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And we talking about a fucking letter? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And it's the shit like that that you value. But I just tell the <laughs> shorties all the time, dog. Like, yo, think longevity. You got to put yourself, give yourself a five-year plan. Some everybody want to be lit because they control by what they see. This shit is a devil, dog. They seeing all the shit on Instagram. Every this shit is a facade. That's the most important thing I want to say to the young homies. This shit is a facade. These niggas is lying, dog. They don't. The real lifestyle is not this easy, dog. Mm -mm. Don't get fooled by the glitz and the glamour you seeing. Mm -hmm. Do not be fooled. These niggas is capping. You know what I'm saying? They selling you the dream. Uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, and it just pay off to just do, get a job, man. Get a pension, man. Get a mm -hmm. 401k, dog. Hey, yo, real talk. I was 15. I was 15 years old, dog. Mm -hmm. I had a job at TJ Maxx. Mm -hmm. in Yonkers, right? Mm -hmm. I was working, going to school. I was in Roosevelt High School. Yonkers, right? Mm -hmm. And um, <clears throat> mm -hmm. I just made full time, right? Doing mm -hmm. nine to five. It's end of the year. It's about to be summertime in June or something, right? Mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. end of the school year, I'm about to go full time. So I'm thinking I'm about to get some good bread. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm hanging out with my homies. What do we do? Steal a car. Stole a car, ride around, and who gets caught? Your boy gets caught. Mm. And I went to Valhalla. And never forget, I was in the old jail. I was on One West. Shout out my man AZ. He from Soup. He from DJ Superior Hood. <laughs> my man Azel. My man AZ was in there. Um, you know, he, he you know, he had a homicide charge. Mm. And um when mm. I came in, you know, he showed me a lot of love, gave me a big pillowcase of snacks. It wasn't no this is my man from the hood, mm. though. This is my, you know what I mean? He looking at me mm-hmm. like, that's little bro. You know what I'm saying? What the mm-hmm. fuck is you yeah. doing in here? Like, you know what I'm right. saying? Like, you a hood, you outside, but you a good kid, too. Like, what you doing in here? Mm-hmm. And I'm saying that to say to the young homies out there, that was a bad decision in my life that I regret. I wish I would have not got in that car. I wish I would have just stayed in my job, worked full time. Still connected to the hood, still tough. I could fight very well. Everybody knows this, right? And I could work a job and still be cool and fly. Mm-hmm. And this was my mentality It'll up until I tough. started going to jail. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Right. And you get the girls, y'all still gonna get the chicks. The chicks want a dude that's stable, that she ain't got to worry about having to go. Yeah, I gotta bail this nigga out. Yeah, y'all lit for a minute. This mm-hmm. shit is a lifetime, dog. This grind, the success comes overnight, but we grind for life for this mm-hmm. shit. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So I, just, I don't keep dragging it. But that's what I tell the young homies, man. Yo, yo, go the straight way, man. Don't be mm-hmm. like me. I took the, I made the bad decision, and I'm telling y'all here today, yeah, I rapped with some of the best legends in the game. I did all of that. And not to say that I wouldn't still be doing that. But the bad decisions in my life, was, that was one as a shorty that I regret. And if you have an opportunity to make a decision and you're a young homie and it's the gang or it's a job and stable for your family, man, choose that, man, because that shit don't last long, dog. Wow. And niggas going to tell, I'm telling you, I don't care, niggas be lying. Niggas is going, niggas throwing 20 at you, you're telling. Niggas nigga. going to tell. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Tell. I got to say this. I know this is on a different note, but it's kind of within the same vein. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The homie Pat Poos don't get enough credit for holding down Remy when she did her big. Oh, yeah, yeah. I want to salute Pat. Salute to salute Remy. Pat. That's yeah. a real shit. Shout that's out Rem. And hey, yo, you know what's so crazy? I mm-hmm. I never shared this with anybody. See, we going over the time, but y'all taking me there. Mm-hmm. I never shared this. People that know me know this, right? Mm-hmm. When I went you to jail, share I had it. To save to that one. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's all good. Uh, it's all good. No, no, no. Everybody really got into it. It's all good. <laughs> you gonna forget about it. I don't want him to forget about it. Uh, okay. <laughs> now nah, we go. We gonna say that one. But I want to tell you something about the Pat and Remy. Yeah. Forget. Nah. We just gonna leave it there for the Pat Poose and Remy shit. And yeah, I'm gonna okay. tell you my part. Know what I'm saying? Got you. That's a real you. shit. But salute that man for that. Yeah, and salute right. her yeah. for her journey. Mm-hmm. Know what I mean? And that's something I want to touch on, too, you know, in the, in the next thing. Niggas don't have no idea what the females go through in the prisons, B. Mm-hmm. Shit be real, too. Be like, what? Yeah, Nigga. Yeah, touch on that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Definitely yeah. building on the next it's one. It's been interesting, man, at the end of this year, because we usually talk about everything. So, we, everything. you know, we we talk about stuff to get other people's opinions also. um, Like, this thing with uh, Tory Lanez or whatever. Um, What's going on with that? What y'all think about that? Yeah, the Tory Lane shit is crazy, man. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. They talking, no, about, they talking about, I think it was Free that years? man, though. They talking about? I don't he's still in, uh, but free him if he's still in, man. Wow. Shit crazy. Yeah. Free Tory Lanez. You, you know, think about um, that, Mo? I mean, he still got time to appeal and all of that, man. We got to see this thing play out. You know what I mean? Yeah, uh, I want I want the man to get a fair chance, you know, especially if he ain't do nothing, whatever the case may be. It's wicked, man. It's wicked outside. With, with you know, what I mean, it's, it's real wicked. We we don't know what's happening with people these days, really. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you getting shot in the foot like that's crazy. How, son? Like you know what I mean? <laughs> it's crazy, man. And, and it was it was in the car it when they got in the, shot. It was in a car. Oh yeah, they was in a car. 
Yeah, yeah like, the car. you know. Yeah, it's crazy. I don't know, bro. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Snipe Life, D Blocks on 354. I am the boss hog. I'm rocking here with DJ Mo, DJ Soup, my homie M Wreck. This is Unsung Heroes. You heard? Yeah. Salute. Okay. Salute. M-Rec TV.